happy vlogmas day one so it is december 1st it is officially the first day of vlogmas who is excited i'm excited my grandma and my aunt is on their way over to go downtown shopping with my mom um like downtown in our town not chicago um but i'm not gonna go with on that but my aunt's in from colorado so they'll be here any minute <laughs> So I just got dressed and um kind of hung out and talked to my aunt, my mom. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I got from Walmart because I love watching these type of haul videos. So the first thing I got is obviously the sweater. The tag is still on it because I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but um, it was $11.87 and this is a medium eight. I got some of these um, flashing necklace lights to wear um, while I'm working. I just thought that these were really fun. Figured I would wear these with my uniform to make it a little bit more festive. And then I got this. This is like a really good pack. This is my favorite razor ever. I have really sensitive skin. Did they just die? There we go. Okay, so I have really sensitive skin. A lot of razors will leave like scratch marks all up and down my skin. So this is my favorite razor and I'm always buying the refill packs. This was $10. A refill pack of four I think is like 12. So I got a new razor and the four pack so I'll just put this with me in my toiletry bag and yeah great little bundle if you like this razor I absolutely love it and then I just got some more foundation I love this foundation from the drugstore this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation I can wear 105 or 106 usually 106 when I'm tanner but um, they're sold out of 105 so I just got 106 and then from TJ Maxx I just got this um, turtleneck but I got this one because it has like the lined detail and I love turtlenecks and then I got these two things I don't know which one to keep so guys tell me um they're both like passport holders and bag tags I love getting new accessories to bring to work I'm just an accessory junkie it's horrible but I thought these were just both so cute so this one's just in purple and it's super cute and then this one's in blue and okay guys, so it's been a few hours. The next thing on my list for you to do today is wash my makeup brushes. I haven't done this in so long. Okay, it's been like two or three weeks, so it's not that long. But I love washing my makeup brushes. You can take any sort of like shampoo that you would use on your own natural hair. Um, but I just like to take this Dawn Platinum Erase Dish Foaming stuff. This stuff's awesome. It really can get into the grit and grime and break down all that makeup. So cleaning my brushes is literally a process for me, um, but this really helps. This is the Sigma, um, what do they call this? The Spa Express Brush Cleaning Mat. So it has all of these different little things to kind of get the grit and grime out of them. They did send this to me, Sigma sent me some really good things and I've been using their brushes since probably I was a freshman in college, yep. Um, so I love Sigma and this mat is really helpful and something that I am so pleasantly surprised about is their brush cleaner This is what it looks like Holy cow does it do a good job? So um, I'll use this up because I have a little bit left and then if I need to I'll switch to this But I use this to clean my beauty blender. And I'll show you guys how I do that in a little bit So I just like put this to the bottom of the sink like that and then I'll just put some of the brush cleaner on it. Sorry, this is probably not the most like sanitary thing, but it works for me. And then I'll just take a brush like this, get a little wet, and then swirl it onto the mat. And you can kind of see how it just, um, the makeup comes off and it's nice and clean. Okay guys, so for the beauty blender, I just like to take any sort of old dish, this is just one of my nephews, and I mix olive oil and this Dawn dish soap. You can use the regular Dawn, and I'll put half olive oil and half dish soap, so quite a few pumps. And I like 
pre-water my beauty blenders so that they're more open. And then I'll just kind of mix this together and just let these soak in so it breaks down the foundation that it's inside. And it makes it easier to wash them because I am not someone who washes my beauty blender after every use. So there's a lot of like old foundation in here that I need to break apart. And once they're sitting, I just let them kind of sit for a little bit and really get into the insides of there um, and kind of break down. Like you can see all that foundation there. It's disgusting. Um, so once I let that sit for a few minutes, I will just wash them in the sink with this and they come out super clean. And yeah, that's just how I find it's easiest to wash my beauty blender. If you guys have any ideas, let me know because I would like something a little bit easier than this, but this is just what works for me. Yeah, I just let everything sit out to dry on its own and it'll be done by the morning. What am I saying? I have some returns to do at Sephora and Ulta and my closest Sephora is like a few towns away. So I've decided that I'm gonna go there and do those. Um, let me show you guys what I'm returning. It's around five o'clock right now. So I don't know why I'm getting the energy up to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I ordered two things from Sephora when they had like the 25% off. I've been hearing so many people raving about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. This is what it looks like. And it's a really pretty bronzer, but I just have so many like this. This reminds me so much of the Becca one that I talked about and um, Matt Give Me Sun. And I just prefer those ones more and they're a lot better, of, they're a much better price point. And then I got the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Um, this is like supposed to be a foundation, but it's such a thick consistency that I bought it for a concealer. And I think my shade's just too light. Um, I got like one of the lightest shades. But I hear that this is supposed to be great for covering up your under eyes, but I think it might just be a little too thick of a consistency for me, or I might need a darker shade. So I'm gonna go look at that and see if they, if I find a shade that works better for me. Oh, it's dark in here. Um, and then from Ulta, I got the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Not a big fan of the color of it. I much rather prefer the NARS Laguna. That's my tried and true. Um, and then the, I wasn't a big fan of the Evermatte, uh, Becca Evermatte um, Poreless Priming Perfector. It was really drying and I didn't really feel like it helps very well with my pores. So I'm gonna go run out there real quick. It's like a 45 minute drive, so it's not too bad, but there's not much going on in my house tonight. So I'm like, this is the perfect time. Even though I have so many other things I should probably be doing, I'm still gonna choose to do this. Who knew they have a Mac in Geneva Commons now? No way. That's crazy. So mom decided to come with me when I left. Now we're at my grandma's. We're gonna get some portillos. I hit a, whoa. Do you really think it was a fox or a coyote? Okay. Coyote. Coyote. <laughs> On our way here. So, we're at my grandma's now. That's really sad though. shower and go to bed 
It was, Portillo's was super good. If any of you guys are from Chicago, you guys probably love Portillo's. I do. Um, tomorrow we're going to the Chris Kingle Market in Naperville. I haven't been there yet, so it should be fun. Oh, so, Geneva Commons got a Mac store. I had no idea. That's pretty neat. So, yeah. I hit that poor animal. I felt so bad. They just shot up right in front of me, and I was like, nothing I could do. So, yeah, I'm going to shower, get ready to go to bed, and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Before